Mobile, thank you. Reporting there in Florida. Now our coverage does continue with eyewitness news reporter Greg Argos. He has been riding up the storm in South Florida since before Irma made landfall, and he joins us now live in Hollywood, Florida, with a look at the damage there. Greg. Yeah, good afternoon, guys. We just heard that the curfew was lifted at 10 a.m. for the beach. The police here in Hollywood, Florida, going to open up Hollywood Boulevard here in a second. But you can see why that curfew was in place. Take a look at the roadways here, flooded from that storm surge from Irma, really creating a big mess here in the area. And a lot of folks still without power here in southern Florida. Will, if we could turn around here real quick, I just want to show you this road. Folks actually here in the distance using kayaks to get around. The water is about a few inches deep, but we've seen folks come here on kayaks, on bicycles, you name it, trying to get to their property and survey the damage. Now, we're fortunate enough right now to be joined by Josh Levy. He's the manager here, or I'm sorry, the mayor, I should sure, say, sure, in Hollywood. Let's walk through exactly what the conditions are like on the beach side. So we have a, a five mile stretch of, of the beach. We're the largest, uh, one of the largest coastal cities here in South Florida. Um, there's certainly a lot of uh, beach erosion starting at the wall at the water. Lots of beach erosion. Uh, the water had actually run over our broadwalk and our dune defenses and over onto where the hotels uh, section is and onto A1A and and you know a lot of that debris is still there. The sand, uh, there's roof materials that's flown off buildings, awnings, etc. Yeah, Josh, we're talking. This was a, a west coast landfall, the eye of the storm. What would it have been like had it hit the east coast here? Wow. So I just you know can't imagine. You know, had this storm hit what was anticipated to be a Category Five, making landfall here in Hollywood, uh, just the, that was the forecast the day before the storm. Until it shifted to the west, there would have been mass devastation here. You can imagine this water would have been even a lot higher than it is. I mean, thankfully for the entire southeast coast of Florida. This, this did veer off, but you know that's not to say that we're happy about the loss that we're seeing sure. you know, in the Keys or, or in West Florida. Yeah. Uh, it's really a tragedy all, all over. Josh Levy, the mayor of Hollywood, thank you so much for stopping thank by, you. sir. I appreciate it. So still a lot of cleanup, and this is where the process begins. At its peak, four million people, we're told, were without power. And the interesting thing, Joe and Rahel, 17,000 crew members from 30 different states are stationed all throughout the state to start restoring power. But in the worst hit areas, we're talking weeks, not days, to get power restored. That's the latest live here from Hollywood Beach. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Staggering, Greg. Thank you to you and your photographers for your hard work. Just can't even imagine weeks without power. Indeed.